I mean, the vibe, the immediate vibe, like literally is just this kind of like serenity because of the finality of it all. If that makes any sense, <laughs> empaths get what I mean. Ah, <sighs> full circle, season one finale, Lovecraft Country. According to Hulu, <laughs> after uncovering the origins of the Book of Names, the gang heads to Artem to cast the ultimate spell. Damn. Now that was a proper ending, period, dot com. I'm not going to totally spoil it, but if you ain't watch, like this video and come back to it later, okay? Because we going to talk. I'm Kim B, a.k.a. Aklan Powered, and this is Fandom, once again, Lovecraft Country, Season 1, Episode 10. Did y'all hear what Letty said to Christina? <laughs> if you watched it, you know what she said. Did y'all hear what she said, though? Did you hear what she said? Mic drop. <laughs> Pin drop. Crickets. Wow. I mean, they took the book and then they took it to some whole other place. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. <laughs> they just took it to some whole other place, y'all. Some whole other place. First of all, told y'all we hadn't seen the last of the dream sequence because that was that that came in real quick. When I saw the pre previews, I knew that Tick would see his mom. You know how he gets some faces? I knew he was going to see his mom because of the expression we saw on his face in the preview. You can't keep mad emo just like his daddy, right? I mean, that I was like, oh, he, he, he that, they didn't show us, but I knew he was going to see. I knew that was, I knew that was his mama. I knew that was his mama. All right. Uh, this is the episode where we really see the Freemans as seasoned magicians. There's an understanding they have. There's a competence, a confidence. There's a why that they have. Yes, they have some discord and disagreement that's par for the course for them. But overall, this is the most united they've been this entire series. The whole season, really. Uh, and I'm like, oh, you know, there's one book. I don't know if they're going to do another one. I don't think they are. Uh, I had to do some research on that. But anyways, the, I'm, I'm just speaking, speaking my emotions, putting some voicing my emotions at the moment. But yeah, I'm, I'm, that's in the back of my mind right now as I'm recording this initial reaction. It's just like, oh, I wish they could just take it and just run with it. But I don't I don't know. I don't know, HBO, like, let us know, like, what are you going to do? We, I mean, we want to know. We all want to know. Anyways, and just so we're clear, Letty, 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 <laughs> Letty has been the actual hero of this series the entire time. I'm going to say, I think I started calling her the hero. What was that? Episode three, yeah, the 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 Raiders of the Lost epi Lost Ark episode. I was like, oh yeah, she the hero. I mean, I, the whole time, that can't be understated. Okay, so <laughs> where is it? Okay, where are they? I mean, hashtag all the Emmys, as in. L hashtag Lovecraft Emmys. Like, they just need to make a whole thing. I need for them to win all of them. Where is it? Where are they? They need all of them. <laughs> okay, all the Emmys. I've been saying this again. I'm going to say it again. All the Emmys. This was the best show of the entire year. And no, I don't watch all the other shows. I am, I, I, you know, I only watch what I watch, but hands down, hands down best show of the year period okay my initial reaction to the ending is it, it i mean it just felt complete it felt right and 
I'm just in the, uh, there's just the serenity kind of like God as type stuff, the vibe that I'm getting right now. It just felt like, like they closed it in a really, really good way. Bad taste in my mouth. I'm not left disappointed. I'm left wanting more of this series, but not more wanting more of this season. So let's get into the initial concepts. Okay, you have got to clear ish from your line. Because if you don't, it's just going to come back and haunt you and hurt you and your loved ones over and over again. They did a clearing at the beginning of the episode, right? They had to. I mean, that, 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 was, that was one of the secrets. So there was that. It's never too late to be somebody, somebody, daddy, sister, friend, ticking Montrose, Montrose and his grandson, ticking Gia, Letty and Ruby. Mm, oh, I'm going to do a recap later. So, uh, you know, this ain't spoiler free, but I'm not going to, if you know, you know what I'm owing about if you watch the episode, right? But it's never too late. You can do things differently on the other side. And you don't have to follow all these bleeping rules. Try it sometimes. Try it sometimes. The rules. We see that in this episode too. How can you access the other side? In your dreams. All right. In your dreams. Now, favorite scene. Well, this is really just the favorite quote. <laughs> I'll talk about my favorite scene when I do the recap. But anyways, favorite quote. All this time I've been chasing faith when I should have been discovering it in myself. Like, Letty, come on. Letty, 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 come on. I felt like that was like a Thor moment. You know when Thor calls in the hammer, he calls in his personal power. She was calling in the personal power in the moment. Like, yes. Summon it, honey. Summon your greatness, honey. Summon it. It is so incredible. Like, to watch her go from where she was at the beginning of this season this season to the end and really just take on this role and fully embody this being and this character and this role of mother of matriarch of passer on of things like she really really did it in such a wonderful way and it was just such a great i mean it was just a joy to watch her to watch her transform and develop um, throughout this this season, um, just really really great to watch that. And and that that quote is really the embodiment of that transformation. So that was great. Uh, I think I just have one question. Yeah, yeah. So I'm talking about. Us, us being black people, okay? What have they actually stolen from us? What are they actually taking from us? I mean, we see Tix Chi, his life force, being summoned out of his body and into the body of Christina. That's what she, she's taking his life force. The energy of his soul and taking it and using it for her to use it for her own benefit, right? This is the intention. That the symbolism of that is just so powerful. So, what have they actually taken from us? And what are they actually stealing from us? That was the question that came to me when I saw that. And takeaway. So, <clears throat> this was my takeaway from this episode. Shout out to black moms everywhere. Okay, I mean, future, past, and present. 
We are the legacy bearers. We have this script running. I'm getting emotional. I'm tired of the script. I'm sick of it. I'm destroying the script in my consciousness as I say it. We have this script running where, you know, it's hard for us as black mothers. I, I'm I'm getting the script of single black mothers. I'm tired of it. Dismantle that. Okay? We are the legacy bearers. We are programmed to believe that script that I just stated. We are programmed to believe that we are just caregivers, cheerleaders, hangers on, supporters. And and let me be clear. There is no just to any of those things. But understand the magic that is happening as you're mothering. You are so much more than that. And that in itself is greatness. But you are so much more than that. You are so much more than what they say you are. You are so much more than what you believe you are. You do so much more than you even imagine. Letty embodied that. The mothers in this season embodied that. Know that and feel the weight of it. It is so important. So important. We the bloodline. The story goes that the men pass it on. No, we the bloodline. We are the bloodline. We are. It's just, it's just fact. Understand that. Know that. Reset your soul. What do you want your legacy to be? Use your children as its vessel. Teach them so that they can become more. You don't have to believe in magic the way that, say, I do, but understand the importance of your existence and what it is you're doing here because you are so much more than what meets the eye. It's a heavy load, but you've been carrying it. Our ancestors carried it. So you might as well carry it consciously. That's all I'm saying. What shifted for Letty this this season? Her consciousness shifted. She was at one state. By the end of this, she was on some whole other level. That's it. That's it, you guys. <laughs> I went kind of deep there, but that's all I wanted to say. I'm literally, literally about to go to my altar. Like, <laughs> literally. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for the final recap and analysis. Thank you for listening. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm Kim B, aka at Glam Powered. As always, stay blessed, not stressed. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.